I like to rumble a lot so this video will be like snappy snappy very quick because I will talk to you about my boots so my boot collection I have knee-high boots ankle boots um, high heel boots designer boots so stuff like that anyway I will rumble eventually, but if you're here on my channel for the first time, welcome and thanks to all of you who are here already. And uh, if you do like videos like that, please subscribe. Anyway, I will start straight away with the categories because in my head I sort of like pre-categorize them. You have some background over here, but anyway, I will start with uh, category number one, which is sort of combat boots. Why I'll start with that one? Because last year I got myself these pretty basic but very straightforward combat boots from a brand called Bogner. If you know this make, um, have a look, that's their, that's their logo over here. As I said, so yeah, it looks like a very much military boot, but they were trending last season and this season uh, I think they're trendy as well. However, um, even though I wear them a lot and I have a size, let me check which size is that because I want to make sure that I give you all the detail for reference. By the way, this video is in no way sponsored anywho doo -doo 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 -doo. can you see the size so this is the size 40 in the combat boots brand bogner yay okay sorry for showing you uh the back of my boots by the way this is how clean switzerland is because I do wear them and obviously I clean my boots you will see I mostly unpack my boots from uh, last season, but um, anyway, this is my first pair. I like it, uh, although it is, they are quite rigid. But then I have these guys, and I especially prepared them for you because these are my designer boots, and as you can see, I have a note uh, from the designer Philip Lin. So this is three one Philip Lin. These shoes were designed with delicate embellishments. Please handle with care and avoid contact with abrasive surfaces. And you will see why, because these are epic, epic, epic boots. And I know mean, they are designer boots. As you can see, uh, because they're so cool and special and designer, where did I order it? Was it Nata Porter? I think it was not supposed a couple of years ago, maybe two or three years ago. Anyway, these are handled with care and I obviously keep them in the original packaging. Let me see what's up here. Slightly tight. I do keep these especially to protect these beauties. Look how cool are these. Obviously, there is wear and tear but oh my god i love the sparkle how cool are these shoes they are very lovely color they're almost like the camera unfortunately doesn't pick up because you see gloomy days and i started filming a bit too late so i'm very sorry even though i have an epic a uh, ring light I ordered from Amazon. This looks a bit too small. Anyway, as you see off topic, here we go. The boots. Every time I make sure that I protect them well, so obviously from last season. I don't even remember if I wore them last winter or any time in 2020. I must have, I do like them. Anyway, um, I try to keep them like stored in a nice way and they are still rigid. I might put some uh, WD-40 so, so the zip goes uh, 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 easier like that. They were a whole couple months stored away. Now I keep everything back in its bag so that I'll pack it up for next season nicely. Anyway, 
As you can see, this falls into the category of combat boots because essentially they are pretty much the same style. However, here the block heel is much, much bigger. I always tend to go, I think, in boots, I try my best now to go for a size 40. But these don't say anywhere. This one's a 39 and a half I found here on the on the side here. So yeah, this is my second pair and those are my combo boots. And I obviously can touch them like this because I made sure I kind of majority to clean them up from last spring season. I love them and they because of their color. Um, you will see in my Instagram if you like scroll back. Uh, you can see that because of the color, it's nice to wear them in gloomy days, like you know, and the embellishments, the pearl detail makes it look very cool and festive at the same time. So, yeah, this is my second pair in the combat boots category. Uh, this pair. Uh, pair number three, I think we could also put in the combat boots category because it got similar feature. Although for me, I call them also like mountain uh, chalet boots, winter boots if you live in the mountains and you want a little bit like high heel, that's pretty much the only option because you still have icy, uh, icy soil, icy ground to walk on or snow, so you really want to be protected. I really like this pair. This is a basic brand. It has, let me know, I have to check which brand it was. Oh yeah, so this brand is Roberto Santi. You probably can't see in, the, in here right away. But yeah, I had them for over um, five years, over five years and they're still going strong. It's Italian brand, I got them in Montreux in Forum and uh, they're pretty cool. Got them in size 40. Again, I like the lace detail. So pretty much we see the pattern here. So I have the comfortable version of comfort boots, although this are still rigid, as I say this from Bogner. I'm on the hunt of something more soft, I guess, but I'm not sure that army boots are supposed to be comfortable, right? Anyway, so yeah, those are three pairs in category of, let's say, combat boots because of their uh, lace details, except, of course, for the Philip Lim because of their embellishments. Next category we have is a category that is called Chelsea boots. So because of this detail, please do let me know how would you describe this particular fabric. So it's very, uh, basically it keeps, stitches your foot in, it makes it very practical and it holds your foot together and you don't need any zips or any laces. So I've got a pair like this from a brand called Minelli. Oh, where is it? Minelli, made in Portugal. Uh, very cool uh, boot. Actually, this is one of the few that I've got in size 39. I tried not to get boots in my 39, like in less, in less than it's my size because um, it's smaller. <laughs> so I do try to fit it in shoes that are a tiny bit smaller. So these ones in particular in the Chelsea boot category, I say they're a bit too small for me. However, my recent purchase, if you've seen my vlogs before, these are from Sandro. I did went to the shoemaker uh, to make sure that I'm ready for autumn. So he did put this extra layer of rubber so that I don't slip and fall. So these are pretty cool. So why I call them Chelsea boots again because of this detail. So if you see the leather here is made. My goodness, I am completely like out of vocabulary for this, but there is lots of stitches made uh, with this fabric that is very tough and stiff. 
um, which keeps your ankle together, put in place. And these are very nice. Those are from Sandro. Got them in size 40 and I'm so far very, very pleased with them. I was surprised, to be honest, seeing the pattern that I have at least two of the same looking, I mean, of a similar tile, but they're both black, as you can see. But essentially, they are meant for different styles and these look more western cowboy type to me. I think these ones are slightly cooler, whereas these are more um, luxurious. These are more for your dressing out, more business-like when I go for business meetings in autumn. So this is most like what I wear. Whereas with these guys, I mean, you can wear them with a dress or anything. Anyway, it's up to you, but I think they're the same thing for different. And also this one is slightly round toe, crook effect. And this one is more pointy toe, like Western effect. So yeah, let me know which pair do you like? Do you have something similar? By the way, as a disclaimer, I obviously filmed this video as part of the entertainment. I did not intend you to run and buy similar pairs or the same pairs. Or I'm just sharing my collection with you. And if you're looking to update your collection, I think it's always good to try shoes on and make sure if you buy online anything, make sure that you can return and exchange because otherwise, you can end up with a pair you don't like. Although, I must admit that I bought online so far one, two. So this was Netta Porter. This was Farfetch or Netta Porter. And this. So either two of the sides, I think this is where I bought my things. Then, also in the same category of Chelsea boot, I have my favorite burgundy heels. So these ones always make me think of like ah oh, i don't know like these shoes make me want to go out put a nice pair of jeans or skirt and like a jumper and uh, go out for a nice glass of red wine in winter sorry guys i hope you don't mind my hair today yesterday i did go for a blow dry but actually not the blow dry she did my curls uh, in Montreal, this lady, but hmm, strange it didn't stay. Rumble on, you see how much I wanted to post a vlog instead, but now I'm filming this and it's happening. So let's continue. So these are on the same note as the Chelsea boot because of these de that detail that makes. Oh, please, somebody comment how do you say this in English? Otherwise, I'm gonna freak out any shoe designers out there. I love these shoes, these boots, Botillon. They are like ankle boot at the same time as a Chelsea boot. They're a nice high heel and they're pointed toe. Lovely leather. Look at the quality of leather, superb. We got them in Spain, in Granada, when we were visiting family there. So pretty pretty cool i love them and you can style it so many ways if you've seen some of my recent autumnal videos for glass collection i'll link them below or the outfits that i'd like to wear for dinner i'm not sure did i wear this or not yeah but in definitely leather and gloves collection i wore this because now i have a matching pair of gloves which perfectly makes sense there you see what i mean <laughs> You see what I mean? They're perfect together. So yeah, very much like this particular pair and I have it for five years at least and it's going nowhere. And I didn't even re-soil it, re it because it didn't, doesn't need it. They're such a good quality, it doesn't need it. So I was wondering whether to place these boots in the ankle boot or category or Chelsea boot category, you name it. However, it is also a high heel category because I've got these bad boys and I had them for so many years. Probably like easily, how many, how many, come on, easily since... Oh gosh, 
2006. Okay, I'll verify it just right here. I'll type it. I'll do the math. I'll ask my mom because we used to buy uh, shoes in one shop in Odessa. And I don't have much left from that collection, but these ones are one of those shoes, boots that I will never get rid of until I don't know what can happen. Of course, they're battered because they're over 15 years, and this brand is called Shy. So that's the brand. If you know the brand, big shout out. I took them multiple times to fix the heel to re-soil them you can see uh, this is not the original although this was much more red this was much more red before and they are completely battered and soiled and lived and loved so much i love this this is like a sock boot sock high heel boot however you call them but i love them love them love them so much of course i protect them every time i um, keep, store them away and make sure that i protect them because these are treasures and they make any outfit look stunning this is a classic pair that does not go out of style so if you look of course this one is <laughs> slightly dramatic but when you wear a skirt and you're only facing this black suede, you see, the suede, and there's also the lace detail. Oh, just fantastic. I really, I love these boots. I am so happy that like they never go out of style and when I have an occasion, um, I remember about them and I pulled them out. I did wear them in London, so I do have a style vlog from London, check it out, I'll link it below, it's just a few years ago, but that's probably the same look that I'm going to recreate because I have a matching pencil skirt that just goes perfectly with them. I don't know, seriously, what do you think? Let me know. My suggestion is, with all of the shoes that I have, I've noticed that there are some shoes that last much longer and uh, those are usually good quality shoes, so I'm not saying like go ahead and buy a big designer brands, but it's very likely that the designer brand has put in quality into the process of making and the designer brand is there for the, its reputation and of course, by the way, for the Italian shoes, I keep on saying this on and on again <laughs> but um, if you have happened to go to Italy uh, you'll find plenty of small boutiques small shops on small streets just go for like a no-name uh, brand but you will find there is a lot of good quality um, in shops like that like proper Italian made made in Italy make sure it says made in Italy and touch feel smell good leather doesn't smell it smells of leather so these ones were made in spain again size 40. martinelli 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 <laughs> anyway last but not least my category of knee high boot and you've seen these guys so many times on my channel i'm so happy it's picking up the color like look at this Gorgeous, my god. If you're wondering why I'm doing this <laughs> weird smile at the same time, I'm hoping that it's gonna pick up as a thumbnail, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Anyway, I love that it picks up the color because the color of this particular pair is so beautiful. I like the block heel. These ones are from Zara. I think I did go to uh, resoil them so they are much more comfortable and sturdy and non-slip in winter that's what you want you want non-slip but yeah gorgeous I love these boots and you've seen you see me wear them a lot if you're uh, quite for a while on my channel you know that these are boots they come out every time they're not particularly warm I must say it's just like 
a polyestery thing, but it's quite thick. So I do like to wear them as a uh, extra layering and warm piece for winter. And these boots are crazy. Look at them. First of all, they're very tall. They're over the knee high boots, over the knee boots for sure. Those almost like your fisherman boots. They're very dusty at the moment. I did go to resole them again just because I want to make sure that I don't slip, slip, etc. They're a little bit uh, dirty from the last trip. So I'm surprised, usually keep my shoes quite clean. But yeah, some things can't be clean. I think this is already discoloration because I used some product or I just need to wash them again. Anyway, I don't wear these boots out and about in town. Maybe I should, but uh, yeah, they're in size 40. I got them in San Marina which is a store in Montreux Forum. I think it's still there. And uh, I do keep them in almost like original special boot holder because otherwise it's very difficult to keep them standing. So yeah, this is my over knee high boots, which are really cool. And I keep them because they are very theatrical. They could be very theatrical. So me and Dominic, we like to go for this sort of medieval fair or like historical events uh, where you participate like we went for our friend's wedding a few years ago in Drummond, uh, Ireland. You can actually check out uh, that vlog. It's called Drummond Castle. So we went for a wedding with friends and I wore them, uh, them boots. <laughs> I wore them those boots because it was very much with the theme of the event and so on. Yes, last but not least, these are also Zara and I couldn't decide which category to place them. I say, let's say ankle boots because uh, yeah, there I have a lot of ankle boots, but this one, the difference between those and let's say the Chelsea ones, right that has that thing that we discussed that i need to in russian it's so easy to know that you know Ugh. anyway this has a zip and it also has slightly rounded toe as usual i resoil them down in montreux and uh, they have nice colors you see they're like blue they're slightly like navy blue i like they have slightly vintage battered effect obviously because i wore them for the past four or five years again and sometimes i reach for them because they're nicely the interesting length on your on your legs so for me if i wear the right type of jean or i have uh, more like brown leather accessories not black um, I'll go for these or if I have denim jeans that are similar color, which I'm gonna probably try uh, With my pair of Levi's so I think it looks very cool Well guys, that was it for this video. I hope you like it getting into festive vibes this winter anyway if you have any questions or any style suggestions do let me know and uh, uh, let me know which pair was your favorite so far um, that's the aim just to share the collection and uh, um, as i said i like to rumble so <laughs> Sometimes I need to stop rumbling and to make it the end of the video. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, um, my lovely subscribers, followers. Thanks a lot for your support and I'll see you in the next video on my channel. Bye.